Welcome back to Dreamin' Does Gaming. Dreamin' to you playing. It's an FTL Advanced Edition. Um, man, it's been a while since I played this, but we played Tachyons the other day, which is kind of like a multiplayer FTL. And it was fun. Um, needs, <laughs> needs some, uh, updates and stuff to it, and needs a, needs a couple things, uh, before we can really get into it. Um, I think once it comes over to Steam, it'll be a lot of fun to play. But, it really got me itching to play FTL again, so here I am. Um, last time, I played, started playing through a couple of them, but, um, I think we played through a couple of the sea ships. Um, I, first off, I went over, I played, I played FTL a whole lot before, um, I unlocked everything, 100%ed the game, um, unlocked all the achievements, everything. I've since reset my account, and I, I think I was going to go back and uh, do every ship. Um, so yeah, I think we might might start up on that again. I'm not going to reset my progress, but I want to do. I want to. I want just. I just want to play FTL, really. So, what I'm going to do, I, it. To me, it doesn't overly matter what ship I use. I'm just going to hit random, and if it's a ship that I haven't won with, <laughs> apparently the, the Basilisk, here we go. Um, we're going to go and try to win the game with it. And that's really it, so I guess we're going to use the the Mantis B ship, the Basilisk, with Pepeluk and Varnus. And here we go, we're looking for the, uh, the victory on hard mode and advanced edition content so let's get started this this ship's pretty neat it starts off with two things of shields it starts off with three drones um it starts off with a four-man teleporter it's one of like two or three ships in the game that starts with that um so the it has no weapons though so we already know what we need to do and that is board and kill them um yeah we also have a boarding drone and a defense drone so defense drone to protect ourselves against missile attacks because if a missile hits us in the uh, teleporter while we're on their ship well game over <laughs> so could be a fast game could be a slow game who knows let's let's get it going uh, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. So what I'm finding is FTL is a hard game. So we've gone through a few of these, uh, a few of these now with the Mantis, um, B-ship. This ship is hard. I'm, I'm hoping that this this is a good run now. Um, we've we've done a few, I've done a few offline runs now just just to try to understand the ship and how we can use it. And I thought every time I think that we're I'm at a spot where the ship is going to work for us, it just isn't. Uh, you encounter a refugee ship sh drifting in space. Looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance. Run out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active. But you're not sure anyone's on board. Its communication seems to be down. Let's prepare to board and look. It looks as if the ship ran out of fuel and the crew ran out of food not long after. Despite the grisly scene that remains, you find one surviving crewman locked in the freezer, almost perfectly preserved and apparently overlooked by the starving crew. I'm fine with that. This is a good start. I like this start. We get an NG right away. First jump. Yeah, that's, that's a good start, as ever. Uh, scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful material. Hold we'll wait for the FTL to recharge. Well, let's explore. We found an abandoned mining site. A few mining drones were left behind and could be repurposed. Drone part and 14 scrap. Sometimes that one's a little dangerous, but usually you get something out of it, even if it's some hull damage. Um, you locate a nearby human colony where an unknown disease has spread virulently. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a ride is broken out. 
Well, we can send our NG to calm down the infected. With no fear of catching the disease, your NG crew member helps reassure the organize and organize the infected humans. Calm by its extensive knowledge of human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leader offers a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. Two fuel, two missiles, nine scrap. Well, so far, that turned out to be a good thing to get the uh, NG right away. So here we go. Ooh, a sun. This could be dangerous. Ooh, a missile launcher. Also very dangerous. Pirate apparently oblivious to the danger the sun moves in to engage. So we're gonna get over here. We're gonna put up our defense drone. And we are gonna go right into that piloting bay. Blast this NG as hard as we can. So that we can two on one this rock. Really not too worried about the uh, the shields here. I'm more worried about if they hit the teleporter. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Bring you guys back. Go heal up. Okay, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go heal that. And actually, you're gonna go down to the doors. And uh, take out the oxygen briefly. Just to deoxygenate this these areas. Put the oxygen back in. You can come back here. You can go there. Now we're gonna jump. Um, yeah, we'll just jump up to here. We'll be fine. This won't hurt us at all. Arrived to a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid them. Shall we respond? Yeah. Ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The uh, fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Sure, at least you're confident. For what little that's worth, here's the last known location. Uh, you know, maybe that is gonna break. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Awesome. Let's just open up everything, get that oxygen in there. And you can head on back up there. So they're actually down this way, so we'll skirt around to the bottom. That's fine. Scans reveal an ore refinery and several factories all standing still and empty. No life signs detected. Didn't want to go searching them, eh? Do we set the quest first in hopes there's another distress beacon or something back here? I think so. Why not? Quests are usually a good thing for us. Arrived at last than location of merchant's delivery, you begin your scan for the lost ship. You find a severely damaged ship floating among some debris. The crew hails you. I can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us. I thought we would freeze to death. If you help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew? Yes. I mean, we could just beam the cardboard cargo aboard and just take it. Um, I want to. I want more crew members. So yes, please. They uh, upload the delivery destination once on board. One takes you up on your offer, and then we drop off the rest of the nearby station. There's another quest marker, and we get another NG. That is actually very good for us. So we're gonna double up like this. Save our spots. We actually have like a 15% chance to evade. Yeah, see, we one, two. Ugh, this is. There's a distress beacon, but. We're gonna try. Try our darndest, I think. Find the station that had ordered the your cargo, you drop it off, and they respond, ignoring the fact that this is days late. We really appreciate you. Appreciate that you delivered our materials. We realize how dangerous the sector is these days. Take this as payment. 18 scrap anti personnel drone. I think we might be okay. It's going to be extremely close. 
We've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if uh, it was from the Rebel Advance and ran out of fuel. It's just Darius Beacon is active. You're not sure anyone's on board. Let's hail them. Vessel's relieved to hear from you. We're running low on supplies. This should just a trade. One fuel for five missiles. I will do that. It's a lot easier for us to get um, fuel right now because we're boarding people. So here we go. Uh, looking for some military supplies and offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. You know what? Five missiles, which we just got, and two drone parts for a single reactor upgrade? Why not? It's not like we overly need that power, but we are going to need it eventually. We'll hop down to this civilian sector. We've actually made it through one sector, so that's nice. Uh, let's get to the next sector before the rebels that are pursuing us catch up. We'll try to hit up to this nebula. It's the idea anyways. We're gonna want some sort of um, weapon soon though. We are gonna try to fight the ship. Um, we could delay them and try to get a couple jumps, but I think we can take this fight so let's do this. We're going to fight the ship. So they have a rock and an NG. So we are going to go to our teleporter. We're going to load up our defense drone because they do have that um, missile. So we're going to go here, try to get some hits on that rock so to help our mantis out. You know, fine. You got one hit on us. <laughs> it's like, of course, right? There we go. No more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Uh, fuel, a drone part, 14 scrap. At least we got our drone part back. And the fuel back for the jump, I guess. Looking good so far. Let's put it that way. And with that, we are jumping again. Yeah, sometimes with um, with those jumps, fighting the the uh, guys that want to delay, it's it's a pretty good thing. We detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. I think this is the one that's like broken up. We can intervene and defend. It looks like they only have a single weapon. So let's try detecting higher threat. The automated ship moves in to engage us. So we need to send our boarding drone here. And I'm gonna send Doorman over to shields just to help boost those up a little faster. Nice, okay, good. This is by far the best one to get into. So on top of that, you're also going to get some shield experience, so that's nice. Good. So this is going to be an extremely slow go with how this is, because we can only destroy the drone one as it keeps popping up. If they try to leave, we're kind of screwed here, like if they start charging up their FTL. So unfortunately, we have to have to wait on that. If we had max level teleporter, we can actually get in there, blow up something, and come back with the teleporter in the time it takes to charge, from what I remember. I don't think they've changed anything on that. So here's hoping that they do not, um, not just run away here. If they just start taking up that FTL drive, then yeah, we're unfortunately going to be going to have to uh, have to run it ourselves instead. But I, I don't know if what's going to happen with that. I don't think they generally run these automated ones, so. But we'll, we'll see.
but yeah, I'm definitely enjoying um, enjoying playing FTL again. It's been been a while, and yeah, like like I said, that Tachyons game as as neat as it was, it definitely needed some um, more things to do. I guess my my wife had said that like, she was getting bored just. It, not enough to do for five people. Um, three people, I think, was the sweet spot. Um, that that seemed to work well. Someone on the jump control, someone on sensors, someone on weapons. So even for um, getting that one person to be able to go and repair, put out fires, things like that. But five was a little bit too much for now. I mean. Eventually, when it, especially when it comes to Steam, eventually uh, it's going to have a lot of other features as well. And on top of that, it won't have all the FTL as assets either. So here's here's hoping that it um, has a has a good release and is actually fun to play. Uh, well, I mean, I had fun playing it, but it just needed some uh, some shoring up. Let's put it that way. We're almost there. Three more, three more hits to go. This is where having like a single bomb weapon would be good. Even like an ion bomb or a breach bomb or something would be great. Just in case it does like flee, that you could launch a uh, breach bomb into a hull. Uh, or into the um, piloting or something like that. Okay, yeah, they won't be running then. Awesome, that's good. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of cool games out there. Um, definitely enjoying playing Heroes Might Magic again. Um, that's been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm thinking about doing like a custom tier list as well, um, on all the games I've, I've played and just kind of ranking them all where I, where I think they, they're at. I, I've got to put a, put that all together though and see, I think it, I think it'd be a fun, fun little thing to do. A tier list of games I've played just everywhere not necessarily just in on stream or on re on recordings and stuff just in general I like to do that for board games too actually come to think about it I should probably do that for board games with my my collection I think that'd be a fun idea all right we got it there we go Ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. Three fuel, one missile, eight scrap. And on top of that, the outpost hails you. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop. Take this on the house. Three fuel, one drone part, 18 more scrap. Even better. Yeah, so we want to jump up here and try to get over here as fast as we can. So let's do that. But we should have waited for the boarding drone to be ready come across a large trade station, however, as soon as you approach, a warning goes up to all ships. Do not associate with the Federation Sympathizer. All who oppose rebels will be punished. Well, let's search and see if someone will sell to us. The single store that responds to your hails. Don't open any wine fan channels. We'll sell to you, but we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Um, they have a burst laser mark, too. And a defense drone, too. I kind of want to just buy this. They also have another Mantis. I kind of want to buy that. <laughs> Alright, we'll buy a Mantis. We'll get a third one. That'll be great. Um, we're a little low on fuel, so we'll buy the fuel. And I think that's it. That's actually going to be great. Um... We'll wait for our boarding drone to be ready. And with that, 
as much as I would love to get that burst laser mark two, because it's it's an amazing weapon. It's gonna do absolutely nothing for us right now. So uh, once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings, and nearby pirate seems to advance hacking tools as they have tried to shut down your engines, your crew engines, to keep them barely operational when you move into attack. All right, so they have a human and a Zoltan, so this will be some easy fights. They also have a missile, so let's get that defense drone up. And let's go into their shields so that they, yeah, they all come in here. And this should be a very quick fight. With the pirate ship disabled, your engines come online again. You salvage what you can, two fuel, 15 scrap. Yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty good. Quite happy with this. Um, who is the one on shields? You, Piplack. You go here, and you go here, and we'll save those positions. Just as a, you know... That way, if we do need someone on shields or something to recharge them faster, at least you're not doubling down on experience. Oh my goodness, three stores in a row like that. It's insane. Alright, an unidentified ship is badly damaged, still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers a split of the bounty. No, nope, we will try to attack them. They, uh, stops its pursuit and locks weapon onto our ship. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this. We'll jump over here into the Mantis spot. We, yeah, they can't actually hurt us. Yeah, I think we'll be okay here in terms of our health. Yeah, awesome. Pirates are dead, leaving the uh, ship dead in space. He scrams with the can from their ship before contacting its former prey. Three fuel, two missiles, 16 scrap. You're too late, hull and breach deprived the crew of oxygen. During your fight with the pirate, you salvage what you can, 16 more scrap. Well, you know what? It's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm trying to figure out what else we, we need to get or upgrade thinking the teleporter sooner rather than later. Um, there is this store here, but we only have 80 scrap, so it's not like going to the store is super beneficial. Uh, all right, arriving in the plasma storm, despite the harsh conditions, Rebel Scout seems to be waiting for you. I guess we could have uh, sent everyone over here. They do have missiles, so let's... Do this. And by that, I mean let's do this. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Not too worried about the oxygen going down. With the crew dead, you're able to take the fuel out of storage. You can also take all the scrap you can manage. Three fuel, 22 scrap. Lovely. All right, let's do that and that. Put that up. We're up to 100 scrap now, so now it might not be a bad idea to go to the store. Distress beacon though. Store there, 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 there. Probably our best thing to do. Because we do need some sort of a weapon, and a flak one is pretty nice. A flak two is even nicer. Um, 
Like I said, we need something to strip um, ships of their of their shields, or Zoltan shields, or just to disable them in general. Mind control could be very good as well. The thing with the flak too. is we would need quite a lot more scrap to be able to use it. Yeah, we'd need another 65 scrap. Because we have to upgrade the weapons twice. However, once we do that, we're in a good position. If we take just the flak, we would only actually need five more scrap. Um, we can also sell the anti-personnel drone and the mantis pheromones, because those are terrible. If we did that, how much closer are we on the flak to? Or would it be 65 and 30? I like the flak too, because it'll rip through an entire thing of shields. It's got a massive um, charge time though. How many times can we charge this twice in that time? Oh, I want to get this, I think. Let's do that. And then we can actually upgrade our shield or our um, this and actually you know, be able to use it. And we still have three power left. I think we're going to do this. Uh, no, we'll do this. No, we'll do this. I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. All right. Now we'll jump ahead. Um... Is there anything else we could buy or think about wanting to buy? A clone bay could be good. Um, if we sold this, we'd get 25 more scrap. We'd be up to 37. Not overly worth it at the moment. I kind of just want to sell this because it's so terrible. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I'm not going to buy anything. We'll hold on to that scrap for now. We might think about upgrading like engines just to get that dodge up a little bit. I don't know yet. Um, we should do something at some point here. But right now, we're going to jump ahead. Stumble across forward scout the rebel fleet. They're powering up their FTL, so let's just get you guys in here. They have that missile again. Um, to be honest, I think we're going to send over everybody and just go into weapons like that. Because now they're delayed. And we can really destroy them here. Take out their weapons. If we can actually take that out while they're fighting. That's actually hilarious. We're, we're good enough to kill them while they're healing in their med bay. Ship goes out, we're relieved to know that you're still one step ahead of the fleet. One fuel, one drone part, 12 scrap. Bring it home. Uh, yeah, we'll throw that in there and be fine. Send everyone to positions and go. 
distress beacon it is. Encountered a refugee ship drifting in space, looks as if it was fleeing, and ran out of fuel. Um, we've already seen this event, so prepare to board and investigate. And this time, we find a rock man, Mullet. Um, you know what? You're taking over the helm then. And just like that, we're looking like a pretty strong contender here. Liking this. You have actually a little bit of engines and no weapons, so let's just do that, I think. Save those. We'll jump again now. One, two, three. I think we can do that. One, two. Yeah, let's do that. Safer rather than sorry here because. We really don't want to fight the uh, fight the guys here. Same thing that we're going to do that we just did. Um, do we want to put up the defense drone, or do we think we can take a hit? I think we can take a hit. Let's get in there. They don't have any. Um, of course, they hit our piloting. Um, with that, why don't we see if we can launch something onto their... Yeah, alright. Ship was apparently carrying information about the surrounding beacons. You download what appears to be the ship's map and scrap the rest of the ship. Well, you know what? That kind of worked. And Markle actually didn't take any damage there. We took two missile hits, which, you know, whatever. Alright. That distress beacon, so we might actually Well, depending if we were if we were good there or not. Looks like a fueling station of some sort, surely broadcasting reasonable prices, spectrum of frequencies and languages. We can dock with it, which is usually a bad idea, but let's try. Begin to refuel, wait for them to finish. Intruders on board, three damage to our hull. Yeah, that's whatever. Let's just go deal with these guys. We're gonna do some killing of people who think that they're better than us on our ship. a little bit of damage there but all in all not the worst thing in the world that event usually leads to that exact same thing get blown up lose lose some haul and getting um, people on your ship intruders so but honestly I wasn't overly worried about it so uh, you find an abandoned mining station nearby. A quick scan shows no life forms. However, you discover a usable drone schematic, an anti-ship fire drone, and eight scrap. I'll take it. Interesting. NG home worlds or an abandoned sector. That's very interesting. Abandoned, we don't really have the ability to fight because that's the Lanius section. Um, we can't send our Mantis over. They'll die to oxygen. So I guess we have to go NG Homeworlds. All right, looks like we're back. Um, basically just went and got a coffee, so there we go. Looking pretty good so far. We got quite a crew. Um, Honestly, what we could do is have the rock go on the ships with these guys, with the mantis. So that's always good. But I do like having um, the rock available. We do have an anti-ship fire drone. I don't really want to go to the store yet. So let's 
Yeah, let's jump first, see what we're going up against. We're in the NG home world, we arrive at a green planet with great plains and rolling waterfalls. We have little interest to in the NG nearby. It sounds lovely though. Another store, of course, right? We found all the stores right away. Why not, right? <clears throat> An abandoned space shapen space shapen space station circles the only planet. Quick check yield schematics for a drone. You bring it aboard the ship. An anti beam drone and fourteen scrap. Now it might be worth going here because we have two drones to sell. So let's let's do that now. And 88 scrap. So first off, uh, what do we see that they have? Clone Bay hacking. Hacking could be good for us too. Ooh, shield drone's pretty nice. But beyond that, so I, I'm liking hacking. Hacking's always a good thing. And sell off these for 50 scrap, just like that, eh? And I think we're gonna buy the hack. Hack and mind control are both both good things for for what we have here. So Oh, this is the final slot though. So what do we think would be better? Hacking or mind control? Against the last um, boss, they have hack and they have on one of them and then mind control on one. Hacking could be bad depending on which system it hits, but overall, we're not too worried about them right now. We'll have, we have our flat cannon, um, and I'm sure we'll get other, other weapons in time. So I actually think we might want to wait for mind control, because if they mind control one of our Manti, um, that would be extremely bad. So I think we want mind control for our last system. So I'm going to buy, because this thing is always lovely, I'm going to buy the backup battery. But beyond that, we're not going to get a whole lot else. Maybe a couple more fuel. And that's it. I don't want to buy any other NG. Yeah, that's, that's that. So not really a whole lot whole lot done there. There's the other store, that's hilarious. So we're gonna go up here to this and then just kind of jump around as much as we can up top. Maybe we'll, we'll be able to slide in behind until like, hit like all of that type of deal. I'm, I'm fine with that. Is there something that we want to upgrade now? Honestly I'm thinking shields to third level pretty quick or yeah, or boost up our teleporter, increase our sensors so we don't have to keep someone there. There's there's a lot of neat things we can do. I I want to do let's let's just put it like this. I, I want to do at least one bar more because that's a twenty percent evasion chance, which is extremely nice. Now, because we're in the NG home world, do I want to do this instead and just have, actually keep you there, and have all these guys ready to go? I think that might be our best case for boarding onto NG ships, so sensor picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system no doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance doesn't seem to have detected you yet let's hail them okay uh as you hail the freighter it advances weapons bristling from its hull uh, it's a pirate ambush not overly worried about these guys so let's let's send all everyone into here I didn't send my other mantis. Well, isn't that just a pain to do? Now we have to wait. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, if we can break down at least some of their uh, weapons while we're waiting so that they either can't do our... Like, they still can't break in right now, so that's fine. 
once we break that, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to send in our other mantis in here too. Oh yeah, he's going to die before he leaves. And this guy is too. I thought we might want to shoot our... Alright, with the crew dead, because we got him with the flak, I am take full advantage of the fuel of the storage. All the scrap you can manage. 6 fuel, 28 scrap. Alright. 6 fuel is extremely nice. Alright, let me remember to bring you down here next. Um, yeah, that's actually, that was a lot of scrap, so that's nice. Yeah, let's go up to the Distress Beacon first, see what they want. Uh, ship without light forms is within a nearby dense asteroid field, it's giving off the Distress Beacon, shall we investigate, could be dangerous, let's search. Ooh, so this, this. I remember this. A ship coated with ice or crystal. You send some crew, crew aboard to explore. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable. But one of the weapons appears salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye. Uh, we need to grab the stasis chamber because I don't have the crystal ship unlocked on this run. So, as, as much as I want to take that weapon right now, we're going to grab the stasis, um, shattering through the crystal coating, destroying the ship. So, we do get a little bit of scrap with that, but we get the damaged stasis pod, so now we need to find a Zoltan. Um, a Zoltan area. Yeah, let's go down here first because the Zoltan area is where what we need in order to go from the stasis pod to or a damaged one to a non-damaged one there's this single event oh man distress beacon and then we can come up here <laughs> this is a roundabout way but yeah I always want to hit up distress beacons if we can Ooh. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Well, let's launch a boarding drone. Huge breach. Oh, too bad. Uh, they're not too happy with our... how we dealt with it. But hey, you know, that's okay. We got three fuel, two missiles, less one uh, drone part with 13 scrap. So that's fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three and more. I think we'll be okay. I think we will be okay. Should we send the away party to investigate? Yeah, sure, why not? As you approach the signal, I knew we'd catch some Federation fish with the signal. Prepare to be boarded. Well, they're gonna board us. Well, that seems like a mistake. Mostly because we're going to destroy these guys, and then uh, we're going to go do this and say hello. And I think we do it before it launches. One one uh, fuel, one drone part, twenty one scrap. Oh, that was close. That was very, very close. That's quite hilarious. Alright, so we need to jump there, there, and then to the exit. It's a, <laughs> a bit of a roundabout way to go, but that's okay. Our ship was laying wait um, inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves in to attack us. Oh yeah, this, this won't be too bad. Do we want to use that? I don't think so. I think we just want to get in there and start killing, basically. 
Um, yeah, you know what? You guys go up to here. Perfect. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful material. Unfortunately, with how this is, we do need to wait. here and exit shouldn't be occupied so we should be okay look at that the small merchant ship messages you underground federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission let us install a weapon to help good luck 12 scrap and the fire beam fire beams are fun um i mean we could do this and then we could start <laughs> making their entire thing go on fire but i'm not really worried about it. Again, I just kind of want to get get going and get out of here, right? So, arrived at long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Hmm, we can buy a slave who has weapons, or we can ignore him, continue on our way, or we can attack him. I think we're going to attack him because I think we can do better than what they have to give us. We are going to, yeah, we're going to go over here, see what we can destroy. I think we'll be able to destroy their um, clone bay before, Oh, so the halberd beam is actually going to hurt us. Ouch. Whew, here we go. It appears the slaves did not survive the fighting. You find their burnt bodies in the hold. My bad. But before you strip the ship, you hear faint noises in the walls. You break off a latch. A slave falls out in the hidden compartment, coughing once you compose the slave officer to join your crew. Three fuel, two missiles, 30 scrap, and Marcus, who is good at weapons. Awesome. Good job, Marcus. Marcus, it can go to weapons. Then, um, you know, send everyone here other than Piplak. We have a ton of scrap, but we're going to go to the next sector. Zoltan Homeworlds. Well, you know what? We might be unlocking the, the uh, thing here. There's a good chance now. No store nearby, so I do. I would love to jump through the nebula, but I also want to do three and then do like that, and then we can jump back in. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. We are gonna upgrade our shields another layer just to have, so that extra protection, and continuing forth. There we go, we arrive at the Zoltan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis, sleep, and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has time to undergo a few scans. Well, you know what? We have this damaged stasis pod. Can you fix this? Interesting, I've never seen a cryogenic system like this. It appears to still be functioning. They hook it up to their system and run a number of tests on it. Amazing has the ability to reconstruct the body if it was damaged during transit. Watch. They reactivate the pod and you watch as hunks of crystal inside reformed to build a humanoid structure. The pod slides open and the reformed alien steps out. It speaks slowly. Greetings, I appear to be in your debt. My people isolated themselves a long time ago, but perhaps it's time to reestablish a connection. There's a hidden wormhole near the rock homeworlds. Perhaps you can take me there so I can properly repay you. 
We will try, Mr. Uh, crystal Man. So the Crystal Guy is great. We're actually going to send him on board. Um, we're going to put our Rock Man into shields now. Or I guess we could put him to piloting. Or did we have a good pilot? No, we didn't really have a good pilot. Alright. So, the crystals are neat, because they have a lockdown ability. Which basically, if they go into a spot on the uh, enemy ship, or on our ship, they can lock it down so... Um, so nothing can enter that area. They have to like break through their, their crystal doors, basically. So, pretty neat. Awesome, so now we can actually just jump around in peace. So let's do this. Let's just uh, jump here, then we'll hit all the nebula and go up. Uh, your ship is flooded with advertisements, uh, transmissions from nearby merchants as soon as you arrive at the beacon. Fuel for missiles for six fuel, let's do that. We don't have anything that requires missiles, so let's go for it. Um, do we have anything to sell right now? No. I mean, we have the fire beam, but it's not worth it. So let's jump here, and then we'll jump up into the nebula. You spot a pirate ship looting a small Zoltan cruiser. They spot you moving to attack before your FTL drive has a chance to recharge. Is that so? Well, they do have a hull missile, so we are going to do this. They're going to come to us. That seems like a mistake. You guys go fight there while we go fight here. Now go take out their weapons, preferably before they they did launch it. Too bad. There are no more life signs remaining. It should be useful material. Two missiles, one drone part, 39 scrap, and we did break it, so that's great you guys back up here and you in here as well you can be in there you guys can be in here and so forth and so forth all right look at that looking nice yeah jump into that nebula now Mm, nope, we're not doing this. We could lose a, a lose a, anyone here. So no, I'm not doing this event. This is a terrible event. We're just leaving. I don't want to lose any of my crew members here. They are far too important. Without active sensors, you have no other option but to look out the viewports in apprehension. Probably correct. <laughs> here we go. Uh, you spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here, and they remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get the scanners to at least identify their cargo. One's carrying fuel, one's carrying ammo. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. Let's secure that fuel supply. Um, and engage. Hopefully we can leave their ship in one piece. I think we can let them come to us, and then we will go to them. Um, yeah, you know what? It doesn't hurt for us to get in here. Kind of just switch around while we uh, take these guys out. Go there while you go here. Now. Awesome. And with the ship in one piece, you're able to salvage most of the fuel supplies before the island storm clears. You have to jump away for fuel. 41 scrap. Ain't that nice. Uh, yeah, we do want that and that. You guys get in here. 
you guys will need to be there as well. Unfortunately, everyone needs to be healed, it looks like. No, no, you don't. Alright, you do. You guys can come in here. Go back there. You're in here. And what do I have everyone set to? Nice. Okay. That works. Let's jump. We're gonna jump up here and here and then go back into the nebula. Or we can do one, two, three, then nebula. Let's, yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, nebula. Oh, okay, a rebel ship moves in to engage. You attempt to open communications, but realize the futility of that action when you see the ship is run by AI. Oh, no, cloaking. All right, well, we want to do this. We want that. And then we're going to want this in a moment. Or actually, are we? Do we even need to send a boarding drone? I actually don't think we do. I think we can just uh, flack them. Ouch. Okay, uh, you know what? You guys can all go in there and try to bring that out. All right, let's send the boarding drone over. Seems to be doing some damage to us, so... Yeah, let's get you guys out of there. Let's put the NGs in there to help out. We don't need the teleporter on. I don't want to have a bad laser hit in here and just destroy us. Oh good, finally. Take out something there, right? You might as well come in here. I think you, you were that one. Yeah, you were. Perfect. Like, of course, we're not gonna get it with this, but that's okay. Darn the, uh... Cloaking. There we go. Ship explodes, giving us three fuel, a drone part, and 21 more scrap. Look how much scrap we have in the bank again. Well, I do think it's probably worth it to upgrade something. So I want to upgrade the engines and I want to upgrade the teleporter. We do have backup batteries, which I actually kind of forgot about. Um, so that's, that's going to be nice. I do want to get another thing of um, power as well. So there we go. Let's wait for our boarding drone. We're good. And we're jumping again forward. Forward jump. Hmm. There are a few more zealous in their custom checks than the Zoltan, a team of border police. Beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons licenses, but things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. Okay. Uh, Excuse me? Um, that is many Zoltans. <laughs> We do need to just constantly fire at that, and we need that defense drone to help with the flak. 
as it comes in because the many laser is bad, basically. Ow. Yeah, you get in here. We gotta... Actually, you guys stay right there. You guys get in there. You get in there. All right, time to board these guys. I think we want to be something like this. Ow, that's okay. We don't want to keep firing our flak while we're going. Yeah, please destroy their weapons faster. Ow. Yeah, you guys go in there, kill their Zoltan while they're going. Good. Six fuel, 41 scrap. Okay, let's let's bring everybody home. Um, yeah, let's send you down there, send you up there, send three of you into here, you need to be healed as well, so I'm just going to send you over. There we go, everyone's happy, and we're good to go. That was a very dangerous fight. So then I wonder what else could we do in case that happens again. I think increasing our dodge percent is probably the best in that scenario. I mean that's a 34%. Yeah, I think that's, that's our best thing to do, but I, I don't know, it's hard to tell. This is Zoltan, peace envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding. We rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. Well, let's hear them out. We take your science for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. Please spread the word of enlightenment to those who have not heard. Once they, once you have, contact our brethren. They transmit coordinates of so-called brethren. One, two, three. And we can go one, two, oh, that's going to be tough. But I want to do this. I really do. This is a good quest for us. Two fuel for five missiles. We'll do that. We're fuel rich. I think we're going to not be able to make it, actually. But, you know, that's okay. Uh, the only thing nearby is a rebel ship closing in fast. We found you. You're not going to get away this time. Attempt to hail them. Oh yeah, I can't imagine there's anything you could say that would save you. The Rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete Federation. Perhaps there could be reconciliation of our ideals without war. Surrender. Your ultimate destruction is inevitable. We've left scores of rebels destroyed in our wake, or Rebellion's calling millions to death. Police are dividing the galaxy. Unity is the only option. I don't remember which one it is, but I think it's this. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. Do you think this could end anyway but war? The galaxy is huge. You can find a place for your ideals elsewhere without causing destruction. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. Whew. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. I will personally assist. Envoy is an amazing pickup. 
So unfortunately, that means we do want to get rid of somebody. So I think that somebody is Raffin, who is our first pickup. Everyone else actually has a little bit of skill somewhere, and we're definitely not taking away our Crystal Man. So Raffin, you're out of here. We're going to accept that, and Envoy, you are now our Shield Master. Yeah, you recharge shields 30% faster. That is extremely nice. And we've got a lot of other stuff with that, too. So yeah, so we are going to jump here. Unfortunately, the rebel fleet is going to be overtaking. So that does mean we really want to bump up our um, engines even faster. The faster we can, the better. So we're going to do that. Maybe we can upgrade them even once more before we get there. That'd be great. Oh, okay. Well, hello. Pick up the last broadcast from our rupturing Zoltan Freighter. The Mantis, they're here, please. You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Well, you know what? This is going to be a good fight for us. Let's get that defense drone up. And let's get over there and destroy these guys. That one's dead. Let's go take out their clone bay. And actually, while you guys are at it, take out their missiles. There's no right lifelines remaining stripped of useful materials. Perfect. Before they even get a chance to do anything to us. So, oh, this is a distress beacon too, and we can hit it before going to the exit, so let's do that. Since we're going to be in enemy territory anyways, might as well. Uh, small research station, uh, appears small laboratory fire got out of control and starting to destroy the station. Fire suppression system's not responding. Well, hey, you know what? We have a rock crew member. He tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It's disperses as much fire suppressant as possible in the heart of the blaze and eventually fire starts to die down. Let's contact. There we go. <laughs> uh, contact the survivors. With most of the fire under control, the scientists are able to help secure the station. They offer you their sincere gratitude and a generous reward. 39 scrap and the Zoltan shield bypass. That is actually phenomenal for what we have here. Yep phenomenal. Alright, let's upgrade our shields once more, or our engines once more, and our power once more. Do we want to upgrade the power? Which I don't think we need to. Because we won't even need the flat cannon. We're going to want a defense drone when we jump over. Um, so let's go to the exit. And this is going to hurt. But that's okay. They found us. They have a falcon. Ugh. Defense drone up. And do we need anyone anywhere else? No, this is pretty well good. Send you down to oxygen just in case that gets hit. We really want our FTL drive to go fast. That's why we put everything into engines here. We are probably going to take one ASB hit. We just took one. Okay. So we are going to go slug controlled nebula because we have to, and hopefully one of these two is the rock home world. The slugs developed an ocean planet where the ability to telepathically sense another organism was important was more important than sight. Today they use this ability to navigate unfettered the depths of the nebulas they inhabit. Alright, well you know what, you can come up here and you two guys can come here and fix that. A little bit of damage on you guys, but you know, nothing major. Heal up and head on out. 
So that's that's actually not too bad for us. So we can still get that out if we need to, we can bypass things. We have anything to sell other than a fire beam. Not really. So we have double stores, so we kind of want to jump around a bit and see if we can hit up a store. But we'll see. Slug Vessel in County here um, has obviously made a big score and is looking to test its new armaments. Oh man, the Glaive Beam. They picked the wrong ship to attack. And Cloaking. That's even worse. Alright. So, what can we do here? I might send in the boarding drone with us as we go. So let's do this and let's send everybody in here and hopefully everybody, yeah, so right through there, he's going in there and we're gonna lock them down now. So they can't actually get out of this room. That hurts, but it's okay. You guys are gonna go down in here and take this guy out, hopefully fast. We did. Awesome. There's no more life signs remaining. You strip it of useful materials. Two missiles, a drone part, and 37 scrap. Okay, we do need to fix that teleporter, so let's go do that. And that hurt. Glaive beams are extremely dangerous. send everyone back to their positions. We are thinking about going to that store so we can repair though. I really was not expecting a, um, a glaive beam battle there. Because that is a nasty weapon to have to deal with. Um, again, you're surprised to find a ship without slug markings uh, stranded all the way out here and move in to provide assistance. When you see the part insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. Do we? Do we really reconsider this? I don't think so. Yeah, who needs sensors when we can send everybody in here and destroy, maim, kill, you know, all that. That flak's gonna come in, but it's not gonna do anything this round, so we're okay. And we should be able to kill off, hopefully, everybody before the next round. Yep, no more life signs, two fuel, a drone part, 29 scrap. There we go. Nice and easy. We're gonna jump here and then to that store and we'll see what's going on. The Mantis ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf, a rare test of honor for the mightiest Mantis crews. Weapons up. They do have that, so we want this drone going out now. They're gonna send a couple people over and that's okay because we're gonna send a couple people over.
actually over there. That would be great. Where are they hitting us? Ah, oh, they're hitting us in our med bay, so actually this will be okay. Uh, that could have been bad, actually. I didn't even look at his health. Prefer if this got destroyed before they launched a. Uh... Oh, good. It did not hit us, so that's fine. Ooh, look at that. Um. Now that your their ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually, you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. Twenty-two scrap and a slug who has maxed shields. Again, not exactly what we're looking for. I much prefer the two NG and the three, three Manti. Um, so unfortunately, sorry, you're not worth it here. Bring you back. You guys can move on out, we'll go here. Bring you guys back. I don't think they got hurt, did they? Well, maybe just a little. And uh, we're gonna go to the store while we wait. Huge slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spread his wares across the helm and is brandishing things at you. All right. Ooh, we could grab cloaking, but they also have hacking. Backup DNA, eh. Um, beyond that, the shop is not very good, so we can either get cloaking, which is always a good thing, that would be our last system. Cloaking's very good. Even just the five second one, just to dodge a barrage. That means we sell the fire beam. Not that we ever use it. So yeah, I think we get cloaking for our final system. I would have liked to get the mind control. But I think cloaking's a little bit better. Is it better than mind control? When we have the mantises and things like that? Oh, I you know what? I think mind control still is the thing we want. Because I don't want them to hit us with mind control. Alright, fine. We won't. We are going to get quite a few repairs though because we are extremely low on that. So it's for 27, that's insane. Should sell for a lot more. Alright. Um, yeah, you can just start there, I guess. We hope they had better weapons or something here. Um, We'd almost get the next round of shields, which would be great. So we're gonna go up and then come down. Stay in the nebula as much as we can. Oh, we should, oh, we do have upgraded teleport, Never mind. Direct attacks are not preferred by the slugs, but of the three, you see at the beacon, one has the brass to make a move on your position. Okay, I'm not, uh, not too worried about this. We are going to get that defense drone up. We are going to send in our crew into their weapons. We are going to immediately... No, you know what? We aren't going to lock them down quite yet, but we will boost up that to a nice percentage. Now we will lock it down so they can't escape out of here. 
and hopefully we just outright kill them. We did before their whole missile launches. Uh, one missile, one drone part, 50 scrap. That's an extremely useful ability, the lockdown. Again, you can come back down here, go ahead and jump again. Uh, nothing really happens here, only disappear in a matter of seconds. That's fine. All fine and dandy. It's entirely mined out of useful materials. Sad. Ooh, alright. This nebula looks like it's recently seen two ships exchange fire with mutually assured destructive results. Wreckage drifts by your screens and tumbles in the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who the combatants were here were without closer investigation. Well, we can investigate the battlefield. Uh, you spot a life form floating within the wreckage. We can assist. Discover their wounds are severe. They won't live much longer. Let's make them comfortable. Uh, on their death bed, they croak out a series of coordinates and beg you to go there when you ask. Attempt to ask them why the fiver attempts simply says Abadoth and perishes. Abadoth. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go there. Yeah, one, two, three, back and in. Um, I don't know if I've done that quest be honest. I've seen that before, but I've always had a clone bay, so you can make him come back. So we'll see what this means. Okay. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby and deadly stationed to look for you. Well, let's attack them. We have that Zoltan bypass, so I'm not overly worried about this. Let's get in there. They don't have anything here for us to worry about. So we can just murder some bases. Perfect. The crew dead. You're able to take the fuel out of storage. Also take all the scrap. 5 fuel, 45 scrap. Thank you, team. So far, so good. All right. Quite happy with how this is turning out now. Yeah, because we want to hit this, that, and then hopefully those three before the uh, exit. And if we actually get there in, ahead of time, that's fine. Uh, they have a teleporter and a missile and a big laser. That's fine. We are, uh, we'll be heroes. We want the uh, defense drone. They're sending a slug against us. Um, you know what? Sure, you go fight them, and we will go fight them. Alright, the pirates are all dead. Uh, leaving their ship dead in space, you scrounge what you can from the ship before contacting its foreign prey, getting 3 fuel and drone part 28 scrap. We're too late, uh, but we salvage what we can for 31 more scrap. Um, or is it just you guys? Oh no, you were hurt a little bit too. Alright. From what I remember about going here, there could be a giant mantis like warship or fleet or something 
So I kind of want to grab the next layer of shields. Just to have. Feel extra protected this way. We arrived at the coordinates. Oh no. We don't have scanners, apparently that might be what we need. Doesn't seem to be anything here, no planets, no vessels, and no clue as to what he meant by sending you here. Do a full system scan, although we're sure to lose some of our lead with the rebels. Fleet pursuit doubled. That's fine. Um, Zoltan ship decloaks and demands your reason for being here. Well, explain about finding the dead crewman, say Anodyne, Abadoth, say Abadoth. Uh, or, you know, NG crew say Abadoth. Your NG crewman easily recalls the phrase the dead man used from its memory banks. There's a moment of silence, and the ship's captain solemnly thanks you for the information he wishes you well on your journey. He offers several upgrades to, uh, for you to assist in exchange for your service to the Zoltan race. Two fuel, a missile, and 28 scrap. Is that it? Well, that's wasn't worth it, in my opinion. Okay. Hmm. Well, I do think this is time to upgrade a couple of these types of things. We are going to want this up, and we are going to want that up. And we are going to want to jump here, and then we might just want to leave. Yeah, I don't know if that was overly great for us. We need to escape quickly. Do we need to escape quickly in this regard? Just trying to think of what's here, there's no ABS system. Um, so yeah, why don't we just send everyone over. We could lock it down and break their weapons. really just destroy these guys fast and hopefully we can take out some sort of weapons here before anything happens. No, we didn't. Not enough time. I much prefer the defense drone here. And because we really don't want to be hit by that. I know they have the clone bay, but we should be able to kill them quite fast and then take out a lot of their weapons here so that they can't keep hitting us. Yeah, so there we go, that's down. One guy in coming out of the clone bay. You know what? Sending like one over here probably isn't the worst thing in the world. Sending two of you over here now is probably not the worst thing in the world. send you guys back home. Go in there. Oh, we should get our oxygen up and get our med bay on. I didn't realize we were so low on oxygen. That could have been bad. Um, yeah, we still have to jump away from these guys, but you know what? That's okay. Let's get you up there. You guys. Why, why haven't you repaired the ship yet? Lazy slackers. At least we got didn't take a whole lot of damage there. But this this was definitely not ideal.
Yeah, we are just going to the exit and getting the heck out of Dodge. There we go, look at that. Let's get out of here. Rock controlled? That's not Rock Homeworld, so this has to be Rock Homeworld. I think we go civilian actually. And then hopefully that's the Rock Home World. One of these has to be, or both of them might actually be. But Rock Controlled is not Rock Home World, and we need Rock Home World for the Crystal Quest. So it's unfortunate that that was not um, what we were looking for. I'd also prefer not to fight rocks because they have missiles. So let's go to the civilians. And let's just uh, catch our breath here. I didn't realize our oxygen was still so f so low here. To we can jump up to the store, or we can just jump around and then jump through the nebula a whole ton. That's fine too. We do have sensors available. We can see the enemy interior, so we're good like this. Yeah, let's let's start going down first. Again, we have like no weapons. That's hilarious. We can hire to scout. Or we can just fight them. I think we're just gonna fight them since we have the bypass and they're gonna be extremely confused when we board their ship. And more so confused when we- oh we didn't get the lockdown in time. Well you know what that's okay I guess. Yeah, you know what, you guys go there and deal with that. I mean, we might as well be doing some damage to this. Yeah, hurt, hurt their uh, med bay a little bit there. Come back. I'd prefer if they just didn't hurt us at all. back and going there, just healing up. Is his lockdown ability ready? It is, so let's actually lock this down, break their um, Break their thing there. You guys go deal with the fire. I didn't realize there was fire going on. And you guys can head back in there to take out this mantis while they're taking out the med bay at least a little bit. We should be able to kill them now. Four fuel, 55 scrap. That's nice. Oh boy. Rockman. Get in there. Crystal Man, get in there. You three, get in there. I guess you can just stay here now. We don't need to send you anywhere. Double Distress Beacon. I'll take that. Every day of the week. Grab the Distress Beacon and immediately detect a pirate ship. Seems the Distress Beacon was a trap. 
not a trap. Where are they going? All right, you two guys deal with them. You two deal with them. Farnus is actually getting his butt kicked. Oh, now he won't be, so that's fine. Alright, there's no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Perfect. Stress beacon, then store, hopefully. Uh, Rebel Vance and ran out of fuel. It's distress beacons active. You're not sure if anyone's on board. Well, let's prepare to board and investigate. We found another Mantis who has shield training. Sorry, Jax. We are dismissing you. We don't need you. We're fine. I was hoping for some... Um, there's more scrap there, unfortunate. Let's check out the store, see what they get. Mind control, and that's the one that we wanted. So there we go. Done. It's our final one. Um, now this is the thing. Do we want to get something like... No, we can't even afford it. So, can't. That's it. We're... We're there if we're at that time. Um, we have our mind control going. In theory, we should be able to be like this so we, if we need our defense drone or something like that. So we come up here and then we'll start jumping through that nebula. Six fuel, 12 scrap. Well, why not, right? It's the best deal on the on the market. Here we go. Heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade in the nebula. Well, we can lock onto their life signs with your teleporter. You beam the Federation crew on board. One gladly joins your crew. The rest wait to be dropped off. Well, again, not what we're looking for, Rolofson, but thank you for the 44 scrap. That was a nice boost of scrap that we needed. Intruders on board, prepare to be boarded! Um, prepare to get destroyed by my mantis. In fact, you can go there, and our crystal crew can come over, because he's close to being completely leveled up as well. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Jump down and then back up. That's the way to do it. Ooh. Well, you know what? We can do this. So yeah, let's let's do that. I think we can do this. Advanced Rebel Scout. Um, possible tell what's inside. Let's attack it. They do have this, but I'm not really too worried about it. We're not going to send anybody in. We'll send in the boarding drone. As per the usual. And depending on where it hits, it hits the shield, so we can actually get our flak ready to fire on this. Oh yeah, um, we can't actually get our other thing going yet. That's kind of kind of funny. I didn't even think about that, but we have huge amounts of dodge, so hopefully that just continues to miss. Once their shields are down will be nice. I mean, we can launch this now and hopefully get a hit. Unfortunately, that was not the choice. Not my mind control. 
One more bar down, please. Probably before they destroy my ship. Ouch. We're, we're supposed to be able to dodge? I don't know if you know this. Like, we're supposed to have an extremely good chance to dodge. Supposed to have an extremely good chance to dodge. What happened to our dodge percentage? Like <laughs> 48% chance to dodge. How have we? Uh, well, they're out of missiles now, so I guess there's that. what that is. I guess we can aim for that now. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> Alright. Go heal yourself, Mollet, and come on back. Well, I'm glad we got ourselves um, everything that we needed there, the uh, haul upgrades and stuff. So we got 40 scrap from that. Investigate. Nothing unused for quite some time. Nothing useful. Other than that, just a pain in the butt. Oh, we should have waited for the boarding drone. Um, oh, I made a rebel scout station at the beacon. Moves in to attack. Improve engines, attempt to outrun it. Let's just do that. Not dealing with that, with those again. Um, we do want to at least put something in our oxygen here. And get that extra bar of shields before we jump. Two, three, yeah. That's a store. Might be worth to jump up to it. I don't know yet. Ooh. Black market weapons trader spins the tail dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. You know what? I think we'll be able to get the uh, the thing from him for free here. He has no um, missiles, so this is actually going to be fine for us. Oh, he, um, excuse me? <laughs> you, th you think you can do that? I think you are mistaken, sir. Let's get onto their cloak. I would love to mind control just one more of their guys. You're, you're now our guy. Get in there. I'd like you not to die. Get back over here. You can get back over here. And we can actually send you broad uh, over here help kill we'll mind control that guy it's probably better if we come over here and start breaking out their weapons just you know so they don't actually have the chance to hurt us yeah, there we go, we're safe now.
All right, no more life signs remaining. Three fuel, two missiles, 47 scrap. Everyone make it back. Tempted to upgrade my uh, med bay here. So we can hit the store up and then get back in that nebula. So let's let's do that. I think this is going to be ideal. Um, anything here that we want? Chain ion laser. It is extremely nice. I'm also tempted that the small bomb is also extremely nice. Um, three power, three shots. This could be extremely good for us too. We need something to damage the big ship or take out like med bays or things like that. So we, we need weaponry as well. That's basically what I'm saying. Is the small bomb our weapon? System damage two? I think it could be. That's a decent amount of chunk like chunk of damage, so let's let's buy it. We can still get something else. We could get the hull laser, but that requires um so much more power in here. We need one, two, three. Accept that for now so we can turn this guy on. Yeah. So that'll be nice. I think we actually want this. Is there anything else we're thinking that we might want? Couple things of hull repair, I think. And then get back in that nebula and carrying on. Of course. And of course. Alright. Rock members, they don't. Yeah, I, it's hard to remember what they actually take for damage and stuff. I forget if they're good with oxygen or not. Well, actually, we want that. And we'll send the boarding drone in. There's really zero reason not to in this case. Or we can just leave. Nah, I think we can do this. Send that in, depending where it is. Oh, it's going in the cloak. We'll break their cloak. Um, eventually we'll break down everything else. Um, yeah, you guys should get in there because there's that fire. And if we can small bomb their weapons and just, you know, hurt it a little bit anyways, right? Yeah, you guys should actually get in there. Alright. Time for you to get in there. Time to power that up to do this. Actually, time for you to actually get down there. With other NG. You guys should get in there and heal up. And actually, you should come over there and you should go heal up while we're thinking about it. Because we really don't want to take that 
damage in too many places. That's on fire. You guys go deal with it. Please stop with the fire bombs. Not a fan. Really not. That's in the oxygen. You should get down there, and so should you, as fast as we possibly can. Thinking just one more small bomb right there, just to really stop them from doing this. So this is no good. Oh, good, you saved it. You guys come there. You guys go in there. Once that's broken, we'll launch the uh, small bomb into the shield, and then we'll just constantly aim flak at them. <laughs> Man! And by that I mean we're gonna do absolutely nothing for a while. <laughs> He needs to start going that way. I wish we could launch more than one boarding drone. I guess if we had two we could, but it's not the case right now. Yeah, I want him to go over the shield so then we can actually do something. Yeah, that's, yeah, there's nothing. No damage to us, sir. Good. He's going over there. Eventually, he has to um, break that shield. Yeah, there we go. Now we can do up to two damage. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Perfect. Well, with that, we get three fuel, a uh, missile, and 32 Some more scrap. So that's pretty good. We should always wait for our boarding drone. Oh well. Uh, another Mantis ship is coming for us. But you know what? That is quite okay. Because we're going to jump over here and deal with them. In fact, you're going to come up here for us, and we are going to mind control one of you guys. You guys fight each other, etc. Oh, I forgot to do the lockdown, unfortunately. Hopefully that just doesn't hit us. Good. We are going to send both of you guys in here. Um, I'd like to get that lock down on so we can kill him. Now they have no weapons. This wasn't that nice. Alright, 
You two guys get in there, kill them. Done. That's that's how you want to use that small bomb. Good now. I'm very excited about this run. We have a chance, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, we can hit this up, but then I think we're just going to be exit. Um, I'll give him five missiles, because we still want to keep some, and then we'll get out here. Ooh, look at that. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. Quick check. Yield schematics for a drone. You bring it aboard the ship. 26 scrap. Defense drone mark 2. And let's get out of here and... Are you kidding me? No rock homeworld? That's a little infuriating, isn't it? I wonder if that was a rock homeworld up there, but, I mean, we'll never know. Or, yeah. Man, that's terrible. All right, we're going to go Mantis, though, because we have the tools to defeat Mantis. Better than we do the slugs, but I'm going to have to call it here. So thank you for watching this. It's been a lot of fun playing FTL again. So especially getting into it and then getting destroyed over and over, um, having finally a good run is super great and very enjoyable where are we now we are in oh right mantis controlled sector that's right because we got the crystal but you got to the end and there was no rock home world which was extremely um you know not not good for us we're still missing some sort of weapon we so we we really wanted to try and find a weapon here um but beyond that, the rest of our ship is pretty good. We've already maxed out shields. We're at a good spot for evasion, 48%. We have a defense drone. I mean, we have a boarding drone, which, you know, is good, but not always necessary. Um, we can't use both at the same time, so and we have to get at least two more power into drone control. Um, I'm not overly concerned about upgrading mind control too much mostly because we're just using it for the final boss to you know let them uh anytime they mind control us we just stop them so beyond that yeah we'll need some more weapon upgrades we'll want to upgrade pretty well everything else at least once but we're not too worried. Upgrading the teleporter again would be extremely beneficial as well. Um, and we're going to be looking for more for more missiles so we can use this small bomb. So do we go like down and hit up all these beacons and then see what's up here? Or do we come up here? Can we get across? Only here, eh? Yeah, you know, let's, let's go to the top. Let's go to the top and check her out. At this point, you almost expect a fight with the Mantis, but this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. Take time to catch your breath. Alright. Distress beacon. Sweet. Jump here and then distress. No, I think we'll just go straight to the distress beacon. <laughs> you arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings. Partially crushed between two large rocks. Must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Well, let's just destroy them. They're just pirates. Inside the pirate is not worth saving. Fire a few volleys into their hull. Getting enough fuel, two missiles, and 48 scrap. Well, isn't that nice? I think we're going to drop back and then go forward. Uh, no, actually, let's just go forward. Uh, do we want to do anything with that money right now? We have a defense drone too. Ooh. That's nice. We could put, we could do something like that. 
but right now we need that boarding drone to deal with um, what the heck are they called? Automated strict scouts. That's what they're called. All right. We do find ourselves. Who knows why the mantis would venture so close to a fun, a fun. A sun, perhaps it makes more of a challenge. All right, they're gonna hop over to us. Uh, we will mind control one of them, and then we're gonna hop over to them. You guys are gonna try to deal with that. You can come over here and just help hurt this guy a bit. Where are they? Oh yeah, we're in their weapons now, so that's good. Alright. Really not too worried about these two guys now, so let's get over here. I mean, this could hurt, so let's get you back there depending on where the fires start. This NG can come down here. You guys are okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's try to get over in here. And then we will bring you guys back so we can heal. Um, no more life, life forms remain, so we get a fuel, two missiles, 36 scrap love to get you back in there and we'll just get out of here as fast as we can actually you should go up there and deal with that can you go down to the doors just to make sure that that fire doesn't come through And actually what we should really do is send you out here and let's go to this distress beacon. I know we're kind of a little away from what we want to do. Um, all right. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire. Their repair crew can't approach without being fired upon. Looking for help to fix it or disable it? Well, we can promise to help. We can NG remotely repair its targeting system. Done. Your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you its thanks along with the reward. Three fuel and drone part and 66 scrap. Well, isn't that just lovely? Yeah, you gotta come back down here. You can come back over here. And we're going to get ready to continue ongoing. So there is a store here, so that's great. Um, yeah, we are going to jump maybe one, two, then the store, and then we'll head down. You spot a mantis ship hunting in the distance. Well, let's aid the civilians. Here we go. They do have a med bay, but I'm not really too worried about that. They're gonna join in, join in. They're gonna come for us. Um, really not too worried about that. Actually, their lasers aren't really that anything to worry about here. All right, perfect. This is a great spot for them to come to. I would love to small bomb that. Oh darn. I was really hoping we would uh we would um get them in there and blow up that stuff. So here we go. Let's do some mind control here. Send you guys back here, because we're gonna small bomb that and then send you guys in. Yeah, it's red.
Perfect. No more life signs remain. So let's contact that civilian ship. So far we're getting two fuel, two missiles, 47 scrap. And they ran away. Too bad. I mean, we're, we're doing good on the scrap front, so that's nice. You discover one of the Rebels' automated scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. It's powered up its FTL drive, so you know what we're just going to do? We're just going to focus on getting the heck out of here. If we need to, we will put up our defense drone. If we can't get out of here fast enough before that missile comes in. Although, I mean, we have a pretty, you know, we have a pretty good sh chance of dodging. We did not. Alright, you two guys get up there, and then we'll just get out of here. That's a fire. Alright, well, you know what? That's okay. To the store. Alright. Uh, close that for now. Um, you guys get down here. You two NGs get over there. Take a look at the uh, the store. See what they have. Another small bomb. Okay, interesting. So they have a charge ion. That's not exactly ideal for what we have. Small bomb isn't ideal either. Man. This is not the store we're looking for. <laughs> I would like to fix this up to there. I'm tempted just to buy this just because. At the very least, we can get through some shields. that's worth it. This is a tough decision. Um, they don't even have good drones for us. That's the other thing, too. Anti-combat drone. That one could be good for the, the drone phase on the, uh, on the ship. On the, on the big ship. I'm going to buy that. So it goes, the first one is not the drone one. I think the second one is the drone one. Um, so the first phase is just like a regular regular fight. We're just trying to do it. Um, then the second one, is that the second one that they have the Zoltan um, shield? So the first first stage is just first stage is they they all right first stage is hacking second stage is um drones so we want to make sure yeah oh yeah and then the third final stage they try to board you um and mind control so yeah okay so go so for the first stage we'll probably want to do something like this Second stage, we'll want to do that. And then third stage, more than likely that or that. Okay. So I, I still want to buy something because we need, we need another weapon. Fire beam is nice, but we can't break through shields, so I 
think we have to go with that, unfortunately. And then I th think, um, what else is around here? Not a whole lot. I do want to double up here, double up there. We have lots of scrap, so I'm not too worried about this. At the very least, we can do this, get that going. <laughs> yeah. Because we can either have it just on repeat and just constantly fire to bring down shields, um, small bomb to blow it up, blow up a few things, etc. Um, yeah. All right. So I think we're in a decent spot now. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, hopefully. Something like that. You, you fancy you, you see something moving the shadow of the beacon, but all remains still. All right. Ooh. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships. Do not associate with the Federation sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Well, let's mind control and alter the announcer's opinions and convince the speaker to rescind his previous statement. Hopefully you'll have just enough time to shop before he figures out what happened. Drone recovery arm. Well, I mean, that's always nice. And we do need something. Crew takes half damage from low oxygen is nice too, but it's not really ideal for what we need. Let's go drone recovery arm, because that is nice. All right, and jumping again, we'll go down here, and then up, and then down. It's another sun. Intruders on board. Emma, get out of there. And you guys are about to get rocked by my Manti and, well, everyone else. Sure would be nice to get, um... upgraded med bay and stuff too, but you know what, it's not something that we need, so let's just get out of here. Meteor! Of course it is. Alright, well, you know what we can do here, right? We don't need that. So let us... I don't think we overly need the small bomb either. We can send in a boarding drone. I don't actually do we need to worry about a boarding drone? I don't think so. Well let's keep the small bomb up but we'll go this way. All right let's just heal up everybody. We're fairly safe here. They we've got a pretty good chance of dodging a lot of this. And we're gonna try to flack in there too. Darn. Yeah, we're gonna constantly fire in that flak to see if we can destroy those shields at least a little bit. There we go. Now we can kind of do this type of dealio. Nice. And Marcus is getting his weapons up now, finally. aim over here too just to help take out those shields a bit more. Yeah, this this is much nicer for us, isn't it? I 
I think it is. We can actually destroy these these ships and stuff now, so that's great. And he should be up to uh, yeah, almost almost a level up here, so. Oh, if that meteor hit, we would have or asteroid hit, we would have won. There we go. Ship explodes, leaving it behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, two fuel, two missiles, and 44 more scrap as we make our way to the exit. You arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged up, you can jump to the next sector. Ooh, this is always a fun one. You have jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens and you see the remains of dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combat combatants were without closer investigation. Well, let's use those improved sensors to scan the wreckage. Scan the battlefield with the aid of your sensors. You're able to find a mo salvage a ma moderate amount of material from the wreckage. Two fuel, two missiles, 25 scrap. Let's get to the last stand. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past the initial security, and officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Well, we explain our mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Turzo of the NG Brigade speaks up until suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. You explain the weakness of the enemy fleet. Yet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outposts uh, can provide some repairs and fuel. The other repair station can provide aid as well. Ten fuel and ten points. Well, I think we're jumping up here and coming straight down. Um, I mean, we're not coming back to this repair beacon, so we might as well... So, after brief exchange, we they give us clearance and use some of their supplies. Five fuel, four missiles, five drone parts, 28 scrap. You might get lucky and get a um, store in these areas too. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. You should be fine. I mean, we could jump a lot around here, but I'm not too worried. A battle rages nearby between small fighters, apparently fighting over a space station. The Federation appears to be losing ships fast. Shall we assist them? Prepare to fight the rebel ship. We move in to intercept. Alright. So they're sending in a drone at us. Some sort of drone. Um, ion drone? Okay, yeah. You know what? That's... This is okay. I'm, I don't mind that drone. We are going to double up here, do this, we're going to jump over here, just immediately send everything in there, and we're going to small bomb up in, in there, and then we are actually going to do our lockdown ability so they can't get through, and hopefully we just outright kill them all before anything happens. There we go. One fuel, one drone part, 67 scrap. Let's contact those survivors uh, fleeing the conflict. They offer you their sincere gratitude. Ow. All right, let's get you guys over there. We'll bring back our crew. You guys get up in there. You get up in there. Let's heal everybody up, including our NGs who are dying due to lacks of oxygen. And including our rock pilot. There we go. Let's see what else we can do here now. 
Um, continuing forth, one, two, three, I think, is going to be, or we can go one, two, three. Yeah, why don't we try to do that, get to that repair station, so we can at least get another, um, another go at it. Rebel Scout turns to engage, power up the weapons. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's cancel their hack. And this is one of those times where I go, hey, you know what? This is a perfect time for a boarding drone. Um, and then we're getting the weapons going, so here we go. Well, into the hack, whatever. You know what? That's kind of how I see, see that. We do want to try to take down these... Oh, man. Because this, with their, um, their eye on... Oh, you know, they're going to hit the... He's going to hit the missiles now, so that's actually good for us. Let's keep these. Ow. Alright, let's send that volley out. Good. I don't think they can overly hurt us anymore now, so... You know, that hit our doors, that's... that's okay. Let's do this. You can go down there, start fixing the doors. Get back in there, fix that up. Actually, you guys can go over there and fix that up too. Why not, right? Well, you know what? Let's deoxygenate that. Unfortunately, we're not going to be doing a whole lot here until that's all fixed. Oxygen back in. Send everybody in, fix it up, so we can get that power going again in that boarding drone to actually deal with this stuff. And we'll send everybody back. Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, at least they're not actually damaging us, but still, I mean, the small bombs definitely do hurt. It's just constantly fire here. Alright, took out the, the ion again. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have quite enough power to get through four sets of shields. Reliably, I should say. Yeah, this is this is less good for us, but you know what? That's okay. We're we'll get there eventually, right? Once he blows up this, he can move into the piloting and. Um, take out their ability to dodge our shots. Really hoping we could get some sort of uh, another weapon here, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Which is unfortunate, to say the least. Send you guys there, and then we'll send everyone back so we're all ready for the next go. There we go. We're going to be constantly taking this stuff out now. Well, now they're hitting the shields, so I mean, 
not exactly a bad thing for us either. Let's start hitting over here with the flak now so we don't hit our boarding drone because he's really the only one doing any sort of semblance of damage. God, so many shields. <laughs> we need two boarding drones is what we need. But once the shields are actually down, it'll be a lot easier for us to keep them down. Like even just like a regular laser would be great. A dual laser, I mean first laser mark two would be phenomenal, but hey, can't have that. Eventually, we will get this. Boarding drone kills so slowly. <laughs> this is insane. We missed every single hit with the flak there. Wow. That's... That is something, alright. Their dodge is insane. If we send you up here, actually. Sorry. We see their dodge percent? No, we don't. I think we have to get one more boost up. It's their weapon speed, but you know, that's whatever. Nice. Take that. Two more hits and we're good to go. Uh, no more shields, so we just have to hit them once. There we go. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, three fuel, drone part, and 60 more scrap. Yeah, we're gonna go here, here, and jump on them. A rebel ship hails. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy. He locks weapons. Oh boy, look at all those drones. Well, we'll get our drones out. We'll power up this. Um, and then, we're actually going to want small bomb for sure. And that, again, we're going to send everybody in. Start beating them up pretty good. And then we will lock them down as soon as we start seeing at least one of them move. Oh shoot. Well, you know, we'll kill the other three. How about that? I mean, that's pretty good. And we'll get you two trying to get in there break that before they can, uh, before you can heal up. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then as long as we can kill him pretty quick here, nice, 31 scrap and a fire beam. That's what I say to that. Not overly happy about a, f oh man, the repair beacon. Not sad. Well, we are going to want to upgrade some of our systems and things so that we don't have... I would love to do this at the very least and a couple more power. Um, on top of that, we do want to upgrade Generally, everything at least one bar. I think that's going to be pretty good. Do I honestly think the fire beam's any good here? No. No, I don't. Um, 
I'm sad. Extremely sad about that. Like, that's the weapon we got, eh? There we go. I mean, this is looking pretty good. The only thing that has only one bar is our... Um, what you call it? <laughs> Four. Man. Alright, well... We gotta send in the boarding drone. We'll do this. Pretty sure they can't really hurt us. Nice, they landed into the weapons, so they really won't actually be able to hurt us after maybe their first volley. No, actually now they just can't actually hurt us. All right. If, oh, if we could have gotten just that one small bomb in there, that would have been great. I guess without their massive amounts of, um, ugh, oh, that's ugly actually, now. Massive amounts of dodge we can bring down their shields slowly, but that's just it. We gotta not miss with our shots. As soon as we do, that's where trouble can happen. And they can get their get their stuff back up. I'd like to go for their engines now, just so we have a better shot of, yeah, taking out any dodge or anything. Nice. Better chance of hitting now, so that's good. Overall, like, fighting these isn't that hard, it just takes a long time. Well, here we go. No more dodge for you. <laughs> we can still miss with the flak, unfortunately, but hey, that's that. One more hit, come on, guys. I guess they do have autopilot, so there is still that chance of miss missing as well. Perfect, blown up. We get one missile, one drone part, 41 scrap. What do we want to do here? Honestly, I'm thinking we want to go for the third layer of teleport. It's going to be the best thing. So we're going to hop down here to the base, protect it. And kind of just hope for the best. We're not exactly geared up well for this fight. But, you know what? That's okay. This is it, the Rebel Flagship. You're, if you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. All right, so first off, you need to go here. You should go here. And you two are going to hop. Ugh, the engines. Man, that sucks. You know what, we should have brought out the anti-drone, um, drone. We're definitely bringing out the, uh, defense drone. And we're gonna put at least a power into here. And you know what we're actually gonna do? We're gonna put two power into here. You're gonna start taking that out. And you guys are gonna start going into this one and breaking them. And then actually, if you guys get in here too. Man, of course they hit that, but that's okay.
take out their giant beam and then their ion and in theory they do less damage to us. Uh, yeah, as soon as we're able to, we will send you guys over. Ow, missiles, bad. Yeah. All right, when that gets fixed, then we'll feel a little bit better here. We'll get that going. I mean, we can try to launch some of these and do some fun here. It, we actually did connect a little bit, so that was good. Their ion hit our drone. Of course it did. Well, you know, here we go. We're doing something. And with that, let's go ahead and take control of one of these guys. I know the guy trying to fix the shields. Oh, we can't bring him back right now. Too bad. Well, at least they can't eye on us, so that's good. And with that, we should actually boost this up. So it's only a 10 second wait. Yeah, ouch. Get you guys up in here. Heal up a bit while we're repairing. Um, we'll bring you guys back as well. You can get in there and help repair as well. Ouch. This is, uh, yeah, this is not good. We are not doing well here, unfortunately. You three need to get in here. You need to get in there. And then as soon as you're good, we are jumping the heck in here. And we are gonna lock that son of a gun down. And hopefully, we can do something with it. Ouch. So much fire everywhere. Ugh. It's like I would love to small bomb that. so that they can't really get that. I think we have to bring back our guys now. Ouch. And I think we're actually gonna possibly die here a little bit. <sighs> we are not set up for this very well, which is unfortunate. You guys get down there. You get up in there. We gotta close all our doors now that the fires are gone. Speaking of closing doors due to fires. Um Yeah, you guys, can you lock down again? You can, alright. Let's go. Get back up in there. You are going to send your lockdown now. Because now, we should be able to just constantly break this down. Yes, I know our 
thing over here is broken, but that's okay. I'm gonna start launching our flat cannons here at their missiles because their missiles are annoying me. You two guys severely need to get over here and heal up. Nice, missiles are down. Um, so beyond that, yeah, you need to get over there. Honestly, you can just get over here and and start up on this as well as you because we do need that going. We need oxygen in our ship. Can't quite lock down. Crew's dead. AI is taking control. You know what? That's okay. You guys get back now. Go up here, you guys, fix all the stuff. <sighs> I mean, yes, they can slowly like repair and stuff now, but that's okay. We wanna just constantly take out this stuff. We wanna send you guys in here, you can start repairing, you guys come up here, repair that, you can go back and pilot, now you can just hit the shields, uh, oh shoot, actually hit their missiles because missiles bad, now hit shields. Not too worried about all the other things. I don't know, hit somewhere down here or something. We only have to hit one more spot, so we're okay here. I mean, as much as I don't like having, you know, killing off the, their entirety crew, It's okay, we can do this. Oh, I mean, that was rough, but we're okay. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. Two fuel, two um, missiles, 22 scrap. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about, about that. Envoy, you need to come over here. You guys, get the heck out of there, please. Mullet, you need to come over here too. That was a, a lot more rough than we definitely wanted it to be. So, no boarding drone. We're going to get the anti-drone drone. I'm tempted to do the fire beam over the small bomb, but, you know... I, I don't know. Actually, we can't because we don't have enough power for it and we can't upgrade it. That's hilarious. Okay, so what's next? Do we get our last slot of power? I think so because we were a little low on that. So what are we gonna do in this next fight? Well, we need to get ourselves onto their ship and break their drones as fast as we can, as well as missiles. I think missiles are first and then drones. It's hard to, uh, to gauge that though, so here we go, we're gonna jump, they're going up here, we're gonna jump with them and just continue the fight. You chase the flat ship down and discover it's heavily damaged from its previous fight. Um, scans indicate that it's redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. Alright, so first things first. 
we're dropping you guys off here. We're putting on the... Um, we don't need the mind control. We're putting on the defense drone. And I guess we can do this and put on the anti-drone. And you two are coming down here as fast as you can. Because we need to break this. If we can break their missiles before they even launch, that would be great. And we did get over here. Start breaking those um, shields down. Yeah, this is, this could have been bad, but it's not that bad. And then, I don't know, we want to start launching that down there or something. Get back over here because we want to take out their missiles. We never want those missiles to launch at all, ever. Take out their shields more. Um, I guess we can start launching the flak over here. Just to delay that. Alright, you guys get over to there. And start taking that out. Nice. You two get back over there, <laughs> take out those missiles. Actually, you know what, we're gonna launch the flak here at their engines again. And then we'll constantly do the flak here. All right, you guys get back there and we'll bring you on home. Great. One more hit and we win this fight. That went a lot more smoothly. I forgot about their boarding drones, so I'm glad that we got that anti-drone out there. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. One missile, one drone part, 22 scrap. Alright, so this is the fun part where we take the defense drone and defense drone 2. Um, they get the Zoltan shield, which really doesn't matter to us because we've got the bypass. So we'll want to do, I mean, honestly, something along these lines, like that, so we can get that defense drone 2 up. We can boost up the power for the teleporter and our engines. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think we can buy anything. Nope. So this is... This is it! Here we go, let's see if we can beat the game with everything we've got here. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well, some kind of super weapon. Be prepared, this is it. Okay, so let's see. Then comes advanced AI system, etc. Um, so we can do this, do that, power this stuff up, bam, bam, and send everyone over to missiles and to lasers. Um, we're gonna just constantly start firing at it, something like, something like that. And then we're going to be pretty darn safe. Oh, they 
actually did get a missile launched. Of course it did. Let's fast in there. Go now. Super, super go. Super go now fast. Uh, hey, do not do that to my guy. Get back in there. Take out these, ouch, missiles faster. Thank you. Take out that fast. Now go. You guys can get in here and start taking down shields. Um, yeah, you know what? I don't mind small bombs getting dropped in their piloting at all. Stop that. Nice. Okay, you guys need to get back over there, and you guys need to get back over there. Uh, oh yeah, send everyone back to their spots, and honestly, after this thing, you should probably go get healed. You guys get back in there. You guys get back in there. Good, that missed. Um, you know, we should probably boost up that. Engines. You guys are still good. Get back up in like there or something. Oh man. Get back down in there. <laughs> awesome, we got a, a, a fire going. Please stop doing that to my guys you guys get up in here actually you don't know, take out that missile once more you guys come over here take that out and then you know what Let's get us back onto the ship. I mean, they they hit us pretty good there. Not gonna lie. But we did it. Holy, I was not expecting that to happen because this this was tough. Thanks to the valiant effort of the Basilisk and her successful true crew, we were able to destroy the Honorable flagship throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring Federation victory. Um, here we go, a score of 5,239. So that's our best score on the Basilisk. Um, so awesome. It's our worst score out of the three victories that we used with the Manti Mantis. And we've got no, no new records or anything, so, but hey, we can take a look at it. Most ships, um, session stats, we defeated 37 ships. We explored 98 beacons. We collected 1,773 scrap. We hired 12 crew. Yeah, that's pretty good. Love those names. Uh, achievements. Hey, look at that. We're actually pretty good on most of these. Most of these achievements. So, how do you get a boarding drone to kill four crew members on one ship? I don't really know how that works. I have to look at that and be like, "Hey, how how does that work?" Because they can't heal, can they? Uh, maybe they can. I don't know. Or you send them off with um, other crew members and um, just let them get the kill. I guess that's easy enough then. Sector five without firing a shot. Sector eight without buying at a store except for repairs. I mean, we could have done that for this run, considering how terrible our stores were. Unlock the type A. Oh, I mean. 
We would have loved to have gotten our um, our crystal cruiser here, but they didn't give us the thing that we needed. So let's take a look at our top scores too. So oh, okay, our best one actually came out of the rock rock sea ship of everything. That's insane. Uh, and then the Zoltans. Um, this one actually. I didn't even get a victory on, and look at that score. If we got a victory, that'd be propelling up to close to 7,000. That's crazy. But cool, that was that was a lot of fun. It's been so so long since I, I played this, so I'm excited to play it some more. Um, if you have a suggestion of a ship you want to see, send it my way, and we can always try that out. Um, and on top of that... I might try out the Captain's Edition mod as well in a little bit after I play play around with it some more. Um, it just adds a whole ton of new stuff, so and it's a, a fan mod, which I'm always up for. So thanks again for watching Dreaming Diz Game. It was a pleasure to run you through FTL again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.